I remember when I was living in my mama house, and I had my wife, Kiki. Kiki a real woman, man. She been down with me. Kiki so fucking real. She been down with me for a minute, bro. I'd be dumb to leave that girl. I mean, I don't even know why I'm speaking that I wouldn't. But, yeah, it'd be dumb if I did. But anyway, I wanted to do. All I wanted to do was move out. Not saying that I had problems at my mom's house. You know, I was chilling, but I had a baby. You know, Kiki had our daughter, Yamaya. And, uh, you know, it was just time to leave, you know. We had Lori, Yamaya, me and Kiki. We had a whole fucking family. We just needed our own space, you know what I'm saying? So all I wanted to do was fucking move. I remember when Tylenny used to come over, which is Kiki's sister. She used to come over and visit or whatnot every now and then. And I just tell her all the time, you know, like, pal, you know, like, you so lucky to have your own place, bro. Like, I just want my own place. And then a little while later, I got it. Like, I got it. It's not the best. I'm, I'm living in the hood, you know, paying $1,300 in rent. But I got a three-bedroom, two-bathroom. I think this is a two-car garage, maybe, or maybe a one-car garage. I don't know how big this garage duplex so I fix appliances for a living for urban brothers you know I'm the owner but one thing I had realized uh and I realized this a long time ago but everything I say that I want when I speak on it I get it you know and I always go back to the same old story I remember when I was in jail I was a young young younger guy uh and I had ordered some pizza from Pizza Hut to a vacant apartment, stole the pizza, ran out the back door so we could eat. You know, we didn't have no food. I gave some pizza to me and my sisters. Um, and then later on, the pizza guy went back to Pizza Hut and told them that um, I had robbed them with a gun. That's not true. But anyways, I went to jail behind that lie. Make a long story short, I remember when I was in jail for about four to six months. And all, all I was saying was, and I wasn't religious, but I wasn't religious, but all I was saying was, man, and I was talking to God. It sounds funny, right? Because I don't even believe in religion. But I was talking to God. I was like, man, look, I just want a good girl, you know, who going to, um, she got to be smarter than me or as smart as me. And I just want somebody to just chill with me and, and stay out of trouble. And she, what do you know? I had got out of jail and, uh, found Kiki and it was an interesting story how we hooked up that's a different video but we, we started out as friends with no intentions on hooking up and it just happened it worked out pretty damn good but uh you know then I had a couple of unsuccessful jobs I could never keep a job she was the breadwinner for like eight years as a waitress making two dollars and thirteen cents per hour plus tips so on a good day she'd make like a hundred twenty hundred forty hundred fifty dollars on her average day she make like fifty to a hundred dollars and on a bad day she make zero to like forty dollars but somehow she used that money to buy cars we had, we always had a place to stay food even though it was on food stamps like she held it down with one income and then i hustle on the side too make a little money here a little money there doing moving jobs or small gigs here and there make a little money but she was the breadwinner all the way around but I always used to say, man, I want my own business. I don't know what it is, but I want it. You know, I worked at Jack in the Box at the drive through window making $7.40 per hour. And I was thinking to myself when I was at Jack in the Box, I was like, man, I want a Jack in the Box. I want this building. I want this to be mine. I want to be the owner of Jack in the Box. Not really. I just wanted a business. And I got fired from there for eating free, for, for, for eating free food, free burger and fries. They fired me. Hold up. So after that, I had to go with the security company doing security work for eight dollars an hour. So I came up, and as I was doing security, it was boring as hell. But I said, man, before I got fired from there, I said, man, I want to do a security company. Like I can do this. Got fired. Found a a gig online on Craigslist that pay $8.25 per hour for movers. I ain't never been a mover before, except for like moving my mom house and stuff like that, or helping out. 
And uh, I was like, shit, I went and did that for some guy. And I was like, damn, you know what? I could have a moving company. And I shot for it, and I put an ad online, and it started from there. So that's where my entrepreneurship had started, was in the moving business. Eventually, Kiki got tired of her fucking job, and she quit. But right before she quit, she used her last tax check, her income tax check, to buy a box truck, a 24-foot box truck for moving. By this time, I was in the business for about three or four years or something like that. I don't know. But I've been there for a while, so I'm pretty dedicated to it. I used to rent trucks from U-Haul and, and budget truck and places like that. And we're bringing in uh, probably about 300 or more per job. You know, it was money that we never seen before in one day. But anyways, after moving, I got so tired of moving, man. I used to love it. But I got so tired of moving. I ended up getting a thousand dollar ticket from the city of, of Irvine. I got a video on YouTube uh, about the movers. Um, uh, the customers didn't want to pay the movers. I got a thousand dollar ticket. So that was the end of that. I wanted to get out of moving anyways, but that was that was my calling to leave moving. Too much drama, not enough money, too big of a headache. I was like, fuck it. And I uh, went from there to Mountain TV for this company named Pulse who eventually started doing appliance repair uh, in Dallas. And they trained us. They they paid me $150 per day and trained me to do appliance repair. The training fucking sucked, but I fell in love with the career. Fast forward and here I am. I'm a business owner of a business called Urban Brothers Appliance Repair in Dallas, Texas. And this is what I do. I got that washer and that dryer for free. Um, you see it's kind of vibrating. I know it's uh, kind of needs repair, but a mechanic never fixes his own car. And uh, I got this refrigerator. Bought that for $300 before I was in appliance repair. Had that for a while. I got that stand-up freezer for free. Didn't pay a dollar for it. Uh, got this this refrigerator. Along with those washing and dryers at the same. Matter of fact, look at this. I got all of that. Well, I paid for that elliptical. But those washers over there, Samsung washers, LG washer in the back over there. Uh, Whirlpool over here. I got all that for free. Then uh, when I was in the moving business, I bought that town car Lincoln right there. 1995 town car Lincoln bought it for seven hundred dollars Then on the other side On the other side of that Lincoln I got a uh, 2003 Chevy Suburban But um That's it man, I'm not finna talk y'all ears off. I just want to Holla at y'all again. I'm just in the garage chilling. I Supposed to be cleaning up. I cleaned up a little Look at my beautiful tool bag. That's a that's a Vito Pro Pack right there. That's a three hundred dollar bag, three hundred twenty dollars for the blackout. Man, if I could say anything to y'all future kids, man, growing up, you know, just don't don't quit. Be honest. If you're gonna do business, do honest business. Um. How you're going to get customers when you start a business. I'll make, matter of fact, I'll make another video on this, but I'll go slightly into it. I'm still learning, but you want to get you a marketing company. You want to start your business, go on Google and figure it out. It's only $25 to start a business. Start your business. There's a, there's a B in here. Start your business. Go downtown Dallas or wherever you're located at. Start your business. Get your business bank account. And uh, do this the right way. And then uh, whatever you're going to do, make sure you don't do it for the money. You do it because you love it. And if you love it, the money will come. The money is everywhere. It doesn't matter what you do. It don't matter what you do. You you could be like, you could like to run for a living. Run. You know, like race people. Money is everywhere. But whatever you do, try to be good at it. You know, love what you do so it's easy to get the money. 
and get your marketing company, somebody pay somebody for SEO, get your website, get your professional website. And here's another trick. You, you don't have to shop American. People in America will rob. Let me make another video. I'm going to wrap this up on this one. I'm going to make another video on uh, talking about business.